guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am making shrimp tacos i'm um, sorry i was doing a little too much right there but yeah so in my shrimp tacos and i have definitely have a filter on right now because i look hot ass mess in my shrimp tacos i'm gonna just take you guys along with me as i show you guys how i make them so what i like to do is take like a flat top like this you can get these from walmart for literally twenty dollars using it to not only um like kind of sear off my shrimp but also to do my tortillas so what i do is i put my oil on there i take a tortilla and kind of smear it on there so that it evenly goes on the grill and then i lay them down and i'm also doing the other ones in the cast iron to make it go faster i use this grill to make my shrimp and i'm going to show you guys what that looks like here are my shrimp what i took is some taco seasoning some lime juice lemon juice some garlic um chili powder um Mexican seasoning, onion powder, and some seasoning salt. Tony Satcher's to be exact. And I put those on the grill, did them all nice, gave them a little crunchy crust kind of exterior, and put them in my dish so that people can just do the taco bar. I accidentally grabbed crushed pineapple, so the crushed pineapple is what I'll be using for the shrimp tacos as well. And then I liked it to get a head of cabbage, and with that head of cabbage, I'm just gonna take this and thinly slice it very thin like paper thin like literally and then these are the taco shells and then I'll come back and show you how I assemble them I also purchased some of this Newman's own pineapple salsa I'm using Fiesta cheese blend doesn't matter which brand and then Taco Bell has the green sauce that they sell in the packets which I thought was super cool and so I also got from Cacique some queso fresco that we're going to crumble. The key to making this perfect is to crumble the cheese while the shells are still hot because the cheese will adhere to it very well and it just makes the taco taste better. So now my shells are right here. Taking my sheet with the fork and I'm just going to scrape the top of it with the fork like this. And I'm doing it with one hand guys so bear with me. If you have any pointers on how to go in to lay down my fiesta cheese first on top of my shells, like so. I'm going to kind of get it backwards with the queso fresco. After laying my shells down, I'm going to come in with my shrimp. still nice and hot boom after you got the nice little portion like this we're gonna come in with some of our cabbage slaw on top not too much guys just enough for a crunch because this cabbage is not cooked you're not supposed to cook it it keeps its texture when you don't cook it so for those of you who may not know then I'm gonna come in with my pineapple right on top of that cabbage and make it look pretty and my hands are clean and then you can put the queso fresco on top to their liking so I'll take a picture and upload that at the end don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for joining me again bye guys hey guys so this is the finished product looks amazing